Hi everyone, this is Chin Rong, Market Strategist for IG Singapore. This week has largely been met with a series of stronger than expected economic data out of the US, which helped to calm some nerves around recession concerns. If you look at the US Economic Surprise Index, it is at its highest level in almost three months. As the end of the second quarter nears, the S&P 500 remains on track to deliver another quarter of stellar gains. Heading into the upcoming week, there are three things you may not want to miss. First up, we have the RBA interest rate decision on Tuesday. The RBA has hiked rates by 25 basis points at its previous meeting, but follow-up minutes seems to suggest some reservations behind that decision. Along with a 13-month low in terms of monthly inflation data, the case seems to be made for a rate pause at the upcoming meeting. Nevertheless, rate expectations remain split on how far interest rates eventually have to go. Policies make a reaction to the recent downside surprise in inflation data will be on watch, with any softer tone around tightening likely to drive a dovish recalibration in rate expectations to price for a prolonged rate pause that could translate to some downward pressure for the Australian dollar. Next up, we have the FOMC minutes on Thursday. The Fed has recently guided for 50 basis points worth of additional tightening by the end of this year. Clues around that guidance will be on watch at the upcoming minutes, given that market expectations continue to price for a less hawkish rate outlook as compared to the Fed's thinking. Last but not least, we have the US non-farm payroll on Friday. Over the past one year, the US job report has outperformed expectations on 11 out of 12 previous occasions, with a notable reacceleration over the past two months. Another set of stronger than expected read could reinforce hopes of a soft landing, but could also pressure the Fed to do more and push back the timeline for rate cuts. An upside surprise on that front could aid to support the US dollar, which has been seeing an uptick over the past one week. That's all for now, and I will see you next week.